Welcome to another conversation with the Brothers of Two Complex. We appreciate y'all for clicking on this video, but before we get into the content, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of the bangers that we drop every single week. Enjoy the video. We appreciate the support. Bronny has been in the news, bro. Bronny James mm -hmm. has been in the news. There's been a lot of reports about Bronny James, and for good reason, if I'm being completely honest. Mm-hmm. We all know what his stats were whenever he was at USC. He didn't have the best freshman year. Five points, three assists, two rebounds, a steal. He, it wasn't a stellar freshman season for Bronny James. Mm -hmm. He he ends the freshman season and says that he's putting himself he's, – he's declaring for the draft but also putting himself in the transfer portal. We get to the draft combine, and Bronny's been showing out. Just keeping mm -hmm. it, keeping it a hundred. Bronny been showing out forty inch vertical, great first day. You know what I'm saying with the agility drills, shooting drills, and he had two. He had well, one, the first scrimmage he ain't do too well, but the second scrimmage he showed out low key. He shot himself up from the 98th overall prospect to the to a from an undrafted player to a late second round player just in these couple of days from the from the um, from the NBA combine. D'Lo. How do you feel about number one, Bronny actually going into the combine and actually showing out? And do you think he should be drafted? And then number two, should somebody draft him to potentially intercept LeBron James? Um, so as far as him going into the combine showing out and should he be drafted, I I think this makes it his performance at the combine makes it an easier pill to swallow for whoever decides to draft him. Um, mm -hmm. And ultimately, well, we'll get in that later. So, yeah, it makes it easier for whoever decides to, to draft him. But I still stand on the fact that I feel like he should go back to college and he's not really NBA ready. That's just my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. I and, and, again, I we all know I'm a LeBron James fan. I think Bronny is a good kid. Um, I think he has – great athleticism, all of that. But this to me is, is no different than a an NFL combine where you have a no name or a late projected pick that goes to the combine, runs a four two, does well in the drills and he shoots up to the you know, shoots up to the lottery late pick. second round or a lottery pick, right? Mm -hmm. Um where he's getting more money, probably guaranteed to make the team. Darius Hayward Bay. <laughs> exactly. And so He's gonna he he'll show he'll have flashes in the games if he is drafted to where he'll be good, but ultimately it does it doesn't really work out. Um I I just think Bronny needs to go back to school and develop a little bit more more skill. Um because I felt like coming out of out of high school that he wasn't a one and done. I said it on the podcast. I don't think he he's did, a one and done. And I think I said he, that, that he was going to be one and done regardless. I, I think I agree with you and said that he didn't yeah. need to be a one and done, but he was going to be just because of somebody's going to pick him to get LeBron in the lottery too. So Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got to think about it. He's just one year removed, literally one year removed, right, from – from the heart situation, uh, or it'll be in a couple of months. It'll be one year removed from the the heart scare, the heart condition scare that we had mm -hmm. with him. He was on a minutes restriction. Um, he didn't do that well. I mean, t numbers wise, you would say he didn't do that well. If you take Bronny James off of this off of him and put John Wilson in there, <laughs> it, it, people are laughing that he's leaving to go to the NBA. Mm -hmm. But because his name is is Bronny James. He's getting looked at, and, and and you know, if if that works for you, it works for you. And if you get drafted, you get drafted. You can say you lived out your dream to be in the NBA, and hopefully, when you get there, you you are able to show out. But I don't think I think he will get drafted to answer that question. Um, but I don't I don't think he's NBA ready. But that's just me. Um, as far as somebody will pick him up to intercept or to get LeBron James on his team, I think LeBron is playing his cards how he always plays his cards. He's waiting to see what happens with Bronny um, to decide if he wants to, if he hasn't already. I don't think he has re-signed with the Lakers yet, but apparently they're, they want to offer him a, a large contract. Mm -hmm. And they say, it's been said that the Lakers are willing to draft Bronny, which 
again. They don't make it. Just like I hope, I hope they don't draft. I hope they don't make JJ Reddick their coach. I hope they don't draft um, Bronny. That would be that would that would that would legit be two mistakes. I, I agree that would be two mistakes. And and that would for me. I mean, okay, we know Bron has power. We we know it. We know Bron has power. Mm-hmm. Um, but it just it continues to play into the 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 Bron James narrative of mm-hmm. he you know forces situations in the organizations that he he's involved with and then decimates the team and then he moves on and goes somewhere else well in this case he'll retire and i just i don't but anyway long story um i, I think i think Bron is playing his cards waiting to see what happens with Bronny, and then if Bronny is drafted because the, the draft happens next month He'll then make his decision on what he wants to do, whether he signs back with the Lakers or he decides to try to get to where Bronny is so he can be on the team with him. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, so I, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have another question after I say my part. But I, uh, D'Lo said it correctly, man. It, he, I, I, I'm super proud of him. To go into this, to to have the confidence to go into this draft and perform the way he's been performing. He's been playing pretty. He's been playing well in the scrimmages. He's been showing out in the drills. He's been he's he's been going crazy. I do agree with that. Should he? Do I believe he should have stayed at USC for another year? Yes, or transferred to wherever he wanted to transfer to, whatever. Because I think isn't USC that 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 conference is no longer a part of anything now, right? I think he. he if I'm not mistaken, you might you know a little bit more about they're in the Big Ten. They're they're moving to the Big Ten. They're moving to the Big Ten. Okay, all right. So I, I think he should have transferred or went back to, went back to school, played another season. But I don't blame him for feeling that he's ready, like he's chasing his dream. I don't blame him for that. Should another team intercept and and try to get Brown at the same time? I think it's a good business decision. <laughs> <laughs> but would I draft him just to get Braun at in year twenty two? Probably not. I'll let the, I'll let the if I was a, if I was a GM, I'll let the Lakers make that decision, make that bad decision, and deal with LeBron James by on their own since that's that's who Le, the, the team LeBron James is on. But I'm not I'm not I'm not making that decision. Now, my question to you is, D'Lo, we we know the kind of season that he had at USC. There's another player who had a similar season in the NBA. Now I know that the NBA is a different beast. They're the top, t- tippy, tippy, top, top in the world. This is a different. It's a different animal going from college to the pros. I know this very well. It's a big, well, way different animal going from the college to the pros. But do you think that Bronny James can be the next Patrick Beverly? Um, I mean. Career eight point scorer, mid to high thirties in in, in free, uh, three point percentage, mid forties in and field goal percentage, a steal, you know, just be that perfect role player to to play good because he said he he said he loves to play defense. He said he he prides himself on defense and being a and being a great player all around. So can he be the next Patrick Beverly? Uh, I don't know. I, so. I mean, Patrick Beverly, he does serve – he has a role on various teams because of his defense. He's a nuisance on the court. Um, mm-hmm. Realistically, he's a good teammate. So mm-hmm. when he's on your team, you love him. And when he's not, you hate, hate him. him. Mm-hmm. I don't think Bronny has that same personality. And I think Patrick Beverly's personality has kept him in the league longer than he actually should be. Uh, and, and that's no hate to Patrick Beverly. So, Pat, mm-hmm. if you see this – it, 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 that's not hate. That's no hate on you. Um, but it just it says that you market yourself very well. Um, but I don't think I think Bronny probably is more athletic than Patrick Beverly. Agreed. So he could he yeah. could step into that role and or, or serve that role that Patrick Beverly does if he does love defense as he says he does. Mm-hmm. But I think. I, I I think he has to bring something else on the offensive side because of who who he is because of the name that he has on the back of his jersey. Whereas Patrick mm-hmm. Beverly is not worried about that, doesn't care about that, and still get picked up. And I, I don't think 
a lot of teams are going to tolerate, if probably not the right word to put in that place, but tolerate that from Bronny. They're going to want some type of offensive production from him. But it, I, I feel like, and I, I agree with you, nonetheless, that they're going to want something more from him just because of who he is on the court. I mean, who who he is, who his dad is, the the, the aura that's around the name James. They're going to want right. more from him. I agree with that. But if you are a if you if you are a smart coach, like say one of the best coaches in the league, say like an Eric Spoelstra, right? If you're a smart coach, you're not going to expect that from LeBron from from Bronny James. If you are mm-hmm. Greg Popovich, you're not expecting that from Bronny James. You're not expecting anybody to be the next LeBron. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a smart GM, smart coach, you're going to put Bronny in positions to to make sure that his game is 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 um what's the word I'm looking for? It excels, for lack of a better word, excels mm-hmm. in the way that it's supposed to. So me personally, I still stand on business and saying that he shouldn't be in the league. He shouldn't be drafted. He should develop some more skills and get some, you know, he shouldn't be a one and done. I do agree with that part. But I believe he can be the next Patrick Beverly. Just go out there, play solid defense, be a great role player, and do what you need to do for the team and not have, and hopefully the team will understand that you ain't your daddy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, you your daddy's son, but you not your daddy. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> but, but it's it, it it nah. Like I think he can be that type of player. I think he can be a a a a, a Patrick Beverly, a Nicholas Batum. You know what I'm saying? One of those kind of players that can have good seasons, but is more of a role player that can give you solid minutes and be productive on the floor. I think he can be that player. Six points a game, LeBron, LeBron can score that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? LeBron can be that. I think yeah. the the Patrick Beverly. Comparison is a good one. Nicholas Batum. Nicholas Batum. He's, is probably he's, he's taller. taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah is, so, is. but I would. But, but the, Patrick, just the, the production is what I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, with that being said, Nicholas Batum could probably guard more individuals than Patrick he Bailey can, and, yeah, and Bronny James could. Yeah. So that and that's what I'm saying. So, um, I mean, that's a good comparison. I I think that's viable. That's viable for Bronny. And I'm not saying Bronny won't be good. I just feel like he's. If he was somebody else, this would not – we wouldn't be talking about him. Agreed. Um, even being a draft pick because they're going to look at him and say what he did in college um, mm-hmm. doesn't say he's NBA ready. But, you know, we've been proven wrong before, and I'm, I hope this is one of those cases as well. But time will tell and we shall see. But, I mean, he compared himself to people like Drew Holiday, Derek White – who those guys are a little bit as far as production, they produce more than what I would expect Bronny to produce, like a 16 mm-hmm. points per game, 37 from three, 46 from the field, six assists. I don't think Bronny's going to be that at the, in the front end of his career. He could develop into that, but I don't think he's going to be that. Yeah. Same thing with – let me look up Derek White real quick. Let me look up Derek White. Derek White, for his career, 12 points. 37 from three, 45 from the field, two boards, four assists. So, like, I mean, he compares himself to these guys because of the production that they put on the on the court. They pride themselves on defense. They're really good defenders. Six-man type of – well, Drew started. But six-man for, like, a Derek White type of guy. Like, mm-hmm. that's that's the role that I can see Bronny in. Yeah. Having eight-point-per-game seasons, a 1.2 steals a, se- a, a season, like, averaging 1.2 steals, like, a steal or two a, se- a season. Like, I can see that for LeBron. It mm-hmm. depending on what system, what what co- who's coaching him, and not putting that expectation to be like your daddy. I can see Bronny doing that. I can honestly yeah. see Bronny doing that. I think the little brother's better, but that's just me. Oh, Bryce is dope. Bryce yeah. dope. Yeah, Bryce dope. I think, and Bryce is taller. I think ain't Bryce like six right. seven? Yeah, Bryce six, Bryce six, is, six, yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah. So yeah, Bryce gonna Bryce gonna be that one. I think Bryce gonna be that one. Uh, but I think Bronny will have a successful career in the, in the NBA. I think he'll – will he play 15 seasons like Patrick Beverly and still going? Mm, maybe. But we'll see. 